Disco Automatic Advance. So today I'm here to chop in a few games at CEX, right here. We're going to see how much we can get. Hello mate, just want to trade in these for store credit for you. Yeah. Thank you very much. And a bit. So, just got back from CEX and one charity shop that I went to. So, on this particular hunt, I didn't get too much just because there wasn't too much on offer in CEX. And uh, actually, they didn't have they didn't have quite a lot of games out on display in that charity shop. And I think it's because because I I did a charity shop run there uh, a few weeks ago, and I managed to get like loads of like Xbox uh, One pads and a PlayStation Four pad. I'm going to drop that in now. So you can see in that clip, I've got like three Xbox One pads, a PS3 pad, a few games as well. And I've sold most of that on now uh, to a private seller. I've sold on two of the pads for 50. So I already made my money back. I already doubled my money uh, on those pads and stuff. So that was absolutely fantastic. And... I did chop in the PlayStation 3 pad and I paid a bit extra and I got one very special game. I didn't get this on camera unfortunately, but I need to show you because it's just so awesome. Tetris and Dr. Mario on the Super Nintendo. Now as you can see, this is in absolutely mint condition. Like I am so, so over the moon with this. I think it was like 30 two pounds i think so i mean to get cardboard snes games at the moment is so expensive so that's why i do what i do i go to the car boot fairs i go to the charity shops i see what i can find there 
to chop in a computer exchange and then get these cheap because we can say, oh, he's going to eBay. Right? On eBay, these are expensive. In CEX, they're a bit more reasonable and, or sometimes they're not, sometimes they are, but if I'm offsetting it with, with games and pads that I'm buying at the booth for next to nothing, then I'm saving money in the long run. So that's why I like doing these particular CEX exchange videos. So look, Tetris vs. Dr. Mario, I've really played this a bunch. It's so much fun. It's so cool to be able to play Tetris in two player on a TV screen and to have Dr. Mario like mishmash with it as well. Just absolutely fantastic. I mean, if you're around my age, you know, mid thirties, late thirties, this would be a great party game, great game to play at Christmas, and I will be busting this out at Christmas as well. So, Tetris and Dr. Mario. So, on to today's hunt. So, I've got just three games from CEX and the charity shop that I went to, so I'll show you those first. So, I've got the game from CEX with the vouchers. So, I've got a £62 voucher, and now I've got 50 left. Now, with that, with that 50, I'm intending to buy the new one of the new Pokemon games like Pokemon uh, Shining Diamond or whatever that's what I'm looking to buy with it so that will come in a few weeks time so for now I did just get Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS for, uh, for £12 I thought that was pretty good um, I have owned this before and I, I sadly before I started seriously collecting and I did resell it um, so I'm quite happy very happy to realize this in my collection I mean Super Smash Brothers you know there's nothing else to say about it really. Like you know, all these characters, it's a party game slash fighting game. I think you know that is highly up for debate. A lot of people call this a party game, but then there's a lot of people out there who will say no, this is a fighting game. But I believe that this is a party game, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. The 3DS version is really good. You can collect up to the Wii U version, and you can essentially use your 3DS as a pad. And there's loads of characters like yeah, hours of fun. Really enjoyed this. Uh, and then I also got. Um, Shadow of Mordor on the Xbox One. Uh, this one was two pounds. Uh, obviously, I know this is like linked to uh, Lord of the Rings in some way. I saw my friend play this at one point. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, but yeah, Shadow of Mordor for two pounds from the charity shop. Not too bad at all. And then we've got Forza Motorsport Three on the Xbox 360. So two disc edition. Uh, it's always nice to get a Forza Motorsport game. I can always give it to my little brother because he absolutely adores Forza Motorsport games. So, yeah, two pounds for that. Now, I went to Gary's a couple of weeks ago and I sorted out the rest of that bag that he had for me. Gary is, in case you don't know, is buy sell exchange in Grove Park and he has a little shop and he sells retro, he sells modern, he sells electrical, all sorts. And he gathered up a bunch of retro to sell me personally and yeah I'm absolutely shocked at how much there was left over let's just get straight into it because this is going to take a while now all this was 25 pounds and most of it are sports titles I'm not going to lie but there is some other titles in there that aren't sports titles so let's crack on with this quick FIFA Soccer 96 on the Super Nintendo Jimmy Connors Tennis on the Super Nintendo Two copies of Super Soccer with Donald Trump on the front for the Super Nintendo. Here's the second copy. Empty case. We have kickoff for the Super Nintendo. We have NHL, NHLPA hockey for the Super Nintendo. We have FIFA Soccer for the Super Nintendo. We have Striker on the Super Nintendo. We have Gunship on the Mega Drive, and this is complete. It's a really nice copy as well, actually. Uh, then we've got the Jewel Test Drive, which is a Sega Genesis game. Uh, it's all in there. We've got cardboard copy, cardboard box, which is nice. I always like to see something different like that. And we've got a uh, Mega Games, I think it's Mega Games, what, six? Uh, we've got a Pro Action Replay for the Super Nintendo, that allows you to play foreign games. Then we've got eSwap, City Under Siege for the Mega Drive. We've got Monaco GP, let me just open that up so you can see it. Uh, Monaco GP Japanese copy on the Game Gear. We've got Super Monaco GP on the Master System. We've got Centurion on the Mega Drive. We've got Side Pocket on the Mega Drive. We've got Psycho Pinball on the Mega Drive. Balls on the Mega Drive. Lotus 2 on the Mega Drive. Another Mega Drive game. John Madden and EA Hockey, uh, EA Sports game, the little tab. Right, he's getting further and further away from me now, let's bring him closer. 
Pete Sampras Tennis, I think, is that a Genesis game? No, nope, the Mega Drive game as well. All these shapes and sizes for Mega Drive games, all Super Nintendo are the same, Mega Drive is just all over the place. Then we've got uh, Last Battle. We've got Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Super Hang On. It's just endless, isn't it? There's, just, there's more. So now we've got, this is a cool game. Sly 2, Band of Thieves on the PlayStation 2. It doesn't have its cover, unfortunately, but it does have its manual and it does have the game. Now, I know this is quite a hard game to come by. This is probably one of the rarest ones in the, in the set. This was about, 30, this was about a 30 pound game, so really happy to get that. It pays for everything. That pays for all of that, can you believe it? Then, we've got GTA 3 Special Edition on the original Xbox, really nice condition. And then we've got these interesting games here. We've got Metal Rising. Now, these are sealed. Uh, it's for Xbox 360. It's the Render Commando version. If anyone knows anything about this, let me know in the comments because I don't know anything about this. So, yeah. Then we've got two copies of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Two copies. So, I think they're both complete as well. Well, that one's complete, but it's in really knackered condition. And this one is incomplete. No manual. So, then we've got a Halo got Halo on the Xbox, original Xbox, it's just, it's got its game in there, uh, and the manual, but there's no uh, case, got Brute Force on the Xbox, again no case, like I don't have a load spare ones, then we've got four PlayStation 1 memory cards, like in a case, like that's so cool, like who knows what's going to be on them, we've got 007 Racing on the PS1, just the game, We've got Mega Games 1 on the Mega Drive. This is, oh, it's got Super Hang On uh, manual in there and Collins manual. Okay, that's a little weird because those are the games that are on there and they're all individual manuals. Oh, that's really, that's, okay, I thought it'd be one manual, but it's not. Uh, yeah, Mega Games 1. Uh, got another copy of FIFA 96. Um, and then we've got Tom and Jerry on the Game Boy Color. I think that's it. So, Obviously, the set of games that I just said from Gary, that was all £25. Uh, the Dr. Mario, I think, was like, I think I offset it with a voucher, so it ended up costing me like £18. Then, obviously, the, the 3DS game, Smash Smash Bros. was £12, but I was bought with a voucher, and 50 left over, and then the two Xbox uh, games that I got from the charity shop for £2 each. So, if you made it to the end of that, that's, that's cool, because I don't know if I would have said through all that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. If you did sit through all that, you're gonna be rewarded because I'm gonna do a little competition. So, if you want a chance of winning a copy of Sonic 2 and Mega Games 1 on the Mega Drive, all you need to do is like and comment below, just anything, just say I wanna win, just in the comments, and I'll pick out a winner on the live stream sometime in December, and uh, yeah, put yourself in, get yourself involved. And try and win one of the uh, try, and, try and win both of these games, even. So yeah, those are my pickups from Charity Shop, Gary's, and Computer Exchange. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the next video is going to be a follow-up video to a trip that I took in Leeds, where um, the oh, it's we'll get into that in the next video. So if you enjoyed that, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.